Dude, did I tell you? Did I tell Holy you? Holy crap. I know, man. Greg's got everything. He's got the most significant factory one-off cars. Hey, did we step through a time warp? Hey, this dude. is a dealership like back in the 60s. Here's the hey, man Danny. himself. Who'd you bring so with you to today? You. I brought Ryan. Ryan is my painter. Ryan, you with me? Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Hello, Ryan. This is Greg. Hey, sorry. that's all right. Greg Ryan, is Ryan. good to meet you. <sighs> I'm, man, I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh, it's OK. There's some I, colors I, and paint for you to look at, <laughs> Ryan, in there. <laughs> look at this. First off, I'm in love with this LT1. What screams 70s more than a C3 Corvette in this gorgeous orange? What year is she? 71 or 2? 72. 72. LT1. It's beautiful. The third generation C3 Corvette was introduced in 1968 and is one of the most beloved and iconic of all American cars. The C3's Coke bottle body style remained unchanged all the way till 1982. This unusually long run began in an unconventional way when the Mattel Toy Company released a Hot Wheels model called the Custom Corvette, which was an exact replica of the C3 a few weeks before the real thing was unveiled to the public. What is significant about this car is a lot of the paint is original, which you just don't find in this day and age. Oh my gosh. So this is the old school 12 coats of hand rub lacquer. Yeah. A little bit different than what we see today on a new Chevrolet, isn't it? Do you know what this car sold for when it was new? I think you ought to walk around to the other side and take a look. The sticker's still on this car. Still got the Why sticker don't you check on that out? Because you're not going to believe it when you see it. See if you'd go for a couple of those today. $7,386. I have to hold on to something because my niece just got weak. Can't even speak. Bro, what do you think she's worth today? Priceless. <laughs> In my mind, it is anyway. That's the perfect <laughs> yeah. answer, Greg. What Should we, we look got? at some more? Yeah, brother. What are you looking at? I'm what looking at this, this uh, Chevy convertible right here. Oh, OK. 1951. 51. The early 50s in America were a time of national pride and a relatively stable post-war economy. More people were buying cars than ever before, and these Chevys were marketed as a low-cost alternative to Fords. There's nothing cheap about the styling of this convertible, however. In 1952, they changed up the styling on the grill to one with five vertical bars mounted on a horizontal center, which soon became known as the iconic Chevrolet Teeth. Even though they were wildly popular, that same year Chevrolet decreased its overall production by more than 400,000 cars because of government imposed quotas and material shortages spurred on by the American conflict in Korea. So, buttes like this one, they're extremely hard to find. It needed a little bit of work, but we kind of got carried away. <laughs> This little three-way intersection right here, body lines, is always a mess on these cars. Yep. And this is flawless. It's perfect. You're not going to believe when you see under the hood here. This is an LS3, totally fabricated custom. Oh, Ryan. my god. That doesn't look it's like an, an LS3, LS3, but it's dressed like a car from the 50s would be dressed. Isn't that cool? When you go out to shows with this car, do you have to bring a truck to bring the trophies home with it? <laughs> <laughs> We have work to do. We have to go back to the shop. We got to go back to the shop. Sorry, Ryan. But coming here, do you not feel inspired? I do. I, I do, too. Come on, we got to go. We got to go. Greg, See, thank you, my brother. What is that? Guys, that's thanks. The, that's Talk to you soon. Coming. Look at Stop. This. Stop. Come on, we got work to do. We got work oh, to do. Man. We got work to do. I own Counts Customs right here in Las Vegas. We build wicked choppers, bad motorcycles, hot rods, classic cars, anything with wheels and an engine.